If you're looking to replace your primary car or your secondary car with one of the world's most established cargo bikes, the Urban Aero family is it. Urban Aero comes from the world's most mature bicycle culture, and that, of course, is Holland. Based in Amsterdam, the world's cycling city, Urban Aero represents the maturity of over a century of cargo bike usage. Now, I just got back from Amsterdam, and 10 years ago, you would have seen thousands and thousands of steel and wood cargo bikes. But today, Urban Aero is the only bike you see. Why is that? To understand where Urban Aero fits into this, you need to understand the history of the Dutch cargo bike. The two-wheeled Dutch cargo bike was always sort of a mom and pop invention. If you were a customer buying a cargo bike, you would go to a local bike store where they would fabricate one for you and it was quite expensive and took a long time. So Babbel first proved to the world that you could build cargo bikes at scale and you could sell them outside of the reaches of Holland. So Urban Air represents the modern cargo bike and what I mean by that is that they look to Babbo for the success of producing this bike at scale and selling the bike beyond Holland but also taking the cargo bike and modernizing it beyond its sort of antique steel and wood image. Urban Aero was the very first company in Holland to use mid-drive electric motors. And this is really, really important. Urban Aero came around, most cargo bike manufacturers were using rear drive or front drive motors, which are often made by companies who are here today and gone tomorrow. These front or rear motors were very, very poor in reliability and very, very poor in terms of after sales service. So when the Bosch mid-drive motor came into the market, suddenly there was a huge, huge player making great, great products and offering after sales service globally. Now, Urban Aero was the very first company to use Bosch mid-drive motors on an electric cargo bike. And in that way, they're real true pioneers. The benefits of a motor on a cargo bike are quite simple. If you just ride your regular bike, it's just you and your bike, and that's your gross vehicle weight. But on a cargo bike, you've got a much heavier bike, plus now you're adding dogs, groceries, kids, lumber, the sky is the limit. So at the very least, what a motor does is it eliminates the weight of the cargo bike and lets it ride like a normal bike. And at maximum, if you're carrying a massive load of weight and you're going up a huge hill, it's gonna help you rock it up that hill. So Urban Aero offers two different Bosch motors. One is the cargo line and one is the performance line. Now the cargo line, if you can afford it, is the best way to go. The reasons are many. First of all, it's the only motor on the market that's made specifically for cargo bikes. What that means is you've got really, really high torque and you've got a very low torque band. So let me explain what that means. A cargo bike needs high torque because you're often starting off perhaps on a hill, fully loaded, and you need to start moving quite quickly. You can't just rely on your human propulsion. Now, a torque band is where that torque actually kicks in when it comes to your pedaling RPMs. And most electric bikes, it kicks in at a quite high RPM, but on a cargo bike, you can't assume that. So the motor is specifically designed to kick in at a much lower pedaling RPM, which means that you're not putting a lot of your effort into uh, putting the bike forward, especially when starting off on hills. The cargo line motor has 85 newton meters of torque, which is pretty much the highest torque available right now for electric bicycles. The performance line is a really good motor. If you say live in flatter places and you're not using the bike for say longer rides, it's just a utility vehicle for a fairly flat downtown area. Now the performance line motor is used on most regular e-bikes. So you can imagine it being put onto a hundred pound cargo bike and it's not gonna have as much power. The performance line is good if you live downtown, work downtown, play downtown. The bike isn't really being used out recreationally and you don't have really big hills to contend with. The performance line is 65 newton meters of torque. So not quite as powerful and the torque band is situated higher just like it would be for a regular electric bicycle. And of course, if we're talking about motors, we need to talk about batteries as well. Anybody who buys a cargo bike might be using it just for in-town use, but chances are really good that you're gonna use it for recreational use as well because on the weekend you could take the bike out and do 20 kilometers, take the kids to the beach, just have fun exploring the city. That means that you need a pretty big battery to propel this bike, plus all the kids, to all these destinations that you have planned. And both this performance line motor and the cargo line motor come with a big 500 watt battery, so you don't have to worry about any sort of range anxiety. And while it's different to measure how far a bike can go on a battery, because it has to do with road conditions, uh, temperature, whole bunch of variables, you can more or less get about 60 to 80 kilometers on a single charge if you're riding on a low setting, and that's a lot.
Now, we mentioned how Urban Aero is the modern cargo bike, so it really advances that sort of steel and wood cargo bike to the 21st century. First big change Urban Aero made was the frame itself. So let's start there. The frame on an Urban Aero is made out of aluminum. Now, aluminum is 30% lighter than steel, and the big thing about aluminum is that it cannot rust. And you have to consider this as a major, major value add because most people who buy a cargo bike don't have a garage they can put it into. They need to store the bike outside year round. So a bike that won't rust is really, really critical. And a bike that's lighter too, well, that's just a huge plus. But probably the most amazing thing about the Urban Aero cargo bike is the box itself. Every cargo bike we sell are impact tested up to 40 kilometers per hour. That means that if a car was to crash into the bike, your children would be safe. Now, wood is a great material for impact resistance, but it's also really, really heavy. The wood box on most cargo bikes can weigh almost as much as this entire cargo bike right here. So the box in the Urban Aero is made out of EPP foam, and EPP foam is the most impact resistant material on the market. Why? Because it's tested rigorously for the use of bicycle helmets. Basically, you've put your child into a huge, thick bicycle helmet, and that guarantees two things. One, incredible impact resistance, but also very, very lightweight. And sure, some people worry that perhaps the foam will chip, but that's not the case. As a little Canadian aside, this box is actually coated using a material designed in Thunder Bay, Ontario. So again, most cargo bikes that use a wood box, the wood box itself can weigh up to 70 pounds. The Urban Arrow's EPP foam box weighs only seven pounds. So we've already mentioned how the Urban Arrow can be stored outside year round when it comes to its frame and when it comes to its box but that's also true for all of its parts. Now in North America, it's very common to have bikes that have 27 speeds, 21 speeds, all of these speeds that you don't really use, and all of those speeds are usually outside and totally exposed to the elements. That's the exact opposite situation that's happening in Holland. In Holland, they use a much more mature technology that's actually been around longer than the derailleur, and it's called the internal gear hub. The Urban Aero doesn't just use any old internal gear hub, it uses an internal gear hub made by Enviolo. And the Enviolo is really, really cool because it doesn't have any clicks when you shift. You simply just roll the shifter and then there you are. And to help you out with that, there's a little icon of a rider on a hill so that you know when you're on a big hill, you're probably in an easy gear. And when you're more flattened out, you're definitely in a more speedy gear. Other great thing about the Enviolo hub is that it's a cargo specific hub. So most internal gear hubs on the market and most derailleur systems aren't designed for the continual torque that's put into the hub. And you have to consider this as a major problem because you've got a heavy bike now with high torque and a hub that's taking a lot of load. So the Enviolo cargo hub is made to sustain the continual torque and weight of a cargo bike and a cargo bike motor. Now connecting the motor to the hub, we're gonna talk either about a chain or we're gonna talk about a belt drive. Now, at the time of filming, the cargo line motor comes with a belt drive and the performance line comes with a chain. And that's probably going to change as the future advances. Some people might complain that a chain drive makes your clothes filthy, but the Urban Arrow has taken care of that. It uses a Hebe chain glider, which completely covers the chain, making sure that the chain itself is clean and that your clothing is clean. But a belt drive, a belt drive takes the cake. So a chain will run for maybe 4,000 kilometers before it needs to be replaced. A belt drive can run anywhere from 30,000 to 60,000 kilometers before it needs to be changed. And it requires no oil ever and keeps your clothing 100% clean. So it's one thing to talk about all these features, but it's another thing to talk about real life use with your cargo bike. And Urban Aero is not just a bike company that makes bikes to sell, they are a company run by families. And you can really, really tell. Now, a lot of the customers I've sold Urban Arrows to have complained that the longest part of any journey is just simply loading up the kids. So, whereas many cargo bikes use like these complicated strapping systems that your kid is fidgeting and it's really hard to get them loaded in, the Urban Arrow uses a really quick and fast magnetic buckle system. So, to load up your kids, you simply pop the buckle in, and then to release, you pull the lever, and it's really, really quick. The other thing about the Urban Arrow is that it's really engineered to be highly modular when we're talking about the box and a growing family. So as a default, the Urban Arrow comes with just a simple bench and room for two kids. But let's say you've got a baby. So the Maxi Cozy adapter allows you to use most European brand child seats and keep the bench free uh, so that you can still have two kids sitting there with ample leg room. It's fully adjustable and guarantees another layer of impact resistance for a small child. Let's say now you've got a toddler who's say nine to 18 months years old and doesn't fit in the maxi cozy seat anymore. 
for that child, you'd put them into a YEP child seat, which is gonna bolt in using the YEP child adapter. This, once again, keeps the bench clear, so you can still have two kids sitting there with, once again, ample leg room. So now let's say you've got a grown-up family, and you've got, say, three to four kids, or you've got two really large kids. Well, for them, you can buy an extra bench, which just sits right here. The great thing about this bench is that it's foldable, so that when you're not carrying kids, you've got lots and lots of space for groceries, or a dog, or whatever you're carrying that day. So when you have a really powerful motor and you've got a cargo bike with precious load inside, you wanna make sure you've got the best stopping power on the market. This is why the Urban Arrow comes with hydraulic disc brakes. Now hydraulic disc brakes are the most powerful brakes you can find in bicycle production today. Instead of applying pressure to the bicycle rim, it applies pressure to a disc brake rotor, which is a dedicated braking surface. And the Urban Arrow doesn't just use any old rotor, it uses an extra thick rotor to basically distribute the heat that's produced by the intense braking. Moreover, the brake's hydraulic, which means it has unlimited power, and you can really feather that power to modulate yourself into corners or get instant stopping. It's just really, really intuitive. The other great thing about hydraulic disc brakes is that they won't freeze up in winter, which means this can be an all-weather, all-season cargo bike. Other great things that the Urban Arrow comes with, an amazing lighting system, puncture-resistant tires, and a really comfortable seat. Now, we've mentioned how Urban Arrow makes a really modular box that's extremely engineered. The same is true for all the accessories you can buy as well. So let's say you've got something inside the box that you just don't want to get wet. The very first thing you can buy for the Urban Arrow is just a cover that goes over top. And this completely waterproof rain cover will just fit right into the grommets that you can find on the frame. Of course, you want to make sure that your kids stay dry and the Urban Arrow rain tent is a masterpiece. So the clever thing about the family rain tent is that, first of all, it goes over top of the handlebars and covers the sensitive electronics. And one of the great things about a cargo bike too is that you can talk to your kids and the Urban Arrow rain tent has an open back that's still completely waterproof so that you can talk freely. The front of the Urban Arrow tent just zips up so your kids can get can feel the air. The Urban Arrow rain tent is also the easiest rain tent to load the kids in and out of. And to add to that ease, the box even comes with little holes that they call mouse holes so that the kids can put their feet inside and jump right in. If you yourself want to stay dry as the rider, Urban Arrow also makes a really clever poncho. The, the poncho actually attaches to the rain tent, allowing you, the rider, to stay dry while your kids stay dry too. If you're really running out of space, you can also buy an optional rear rack to put your groceries in or other sundry items. So if the Urban Arrow is one of the most engineered bikes for carrying kids, it's also really engineered around the rider as well. And one of the ways this is truly revealed is in terms of fit. So first of all, Urban Arrow is the most upright cargo bike you can buy on the market. And this is really, really critical. You yourself want to be sitting above car traffic so you can see what's coming up in front of you and to have more of a profile in the back, drivers can see you. This just makes for a safe ride. It also makes for a comfortable ride. If there's a problem with a lot of Dutch cargo bikes is that they're made for Dutch citizens who happen to be the world's tallest people. And this is not the case for Urban Arrow. It's really a moment where the bike is truly designed to be an export ready bike for all heights of people. And this is a really clever design. So I've already mentioned that the position on the Urban Arrow is really, really upright. So this right here is called the cockpit of the bicycle and it's basically the measurement from the handlebar to the seat. If you're a shorter rider, you wanna have the seat quite low. And if you're a taller rider, you wanna have the seat quite high. What's interesting about the Urban Arrow is that this slope of the tube right here increases the cockpit length as the seat goes up, which is perfect if you're a shorter rider or a taller rider. You're not too crunched, nor are you really, really spread out. And of course, if you see this quick release seat, you're probably a little bit worried about bike theft, but the seat will not remove. It's another clever little feature that's built for urban city life. So to make seat adjustment really, really easy, Urban Arrow has put a ruler on their seat post. So I, for instance, at five foot 11, have the seat set at position four, whereas my colleague Ainsley, who's five foot six, is sitting at position two. And once again, it's just a flick of a lever and you can adjust it instantly. If you're a really tall person, you're worried, will the Urban Arrow fit for me? Well, as I mentioned, Holland is home of the world's tallest people and the seat post will go all the way up to level seven. So we like to think of the Urban Arrow as like the minivan of the cargo bike world. It's no Audi, it's no BMW. It's a really high quality bike designed for everyday life and it's super, super engineered. And there's no wonder that when you go to Holland and you watch daily cyclists riding every single day with their families, their first choice is gonna be Urban Arrow. Thanks so much for watching. And of course we're here to help. So if you have any other questions, please contact us. You can either book a sales appointment uh, remotely by video, phone, or in store. And we'd love it if you click to subscribe to watch more videos.